so let's get started. Is there any public comment for agenda night items not on the agenda? Yes. Um, it's it's uh, historic preservation grant and again, and the historic preservation commission is looking into um, doing for a 2019 grant into putting to, to nominating doing the process to nominate Edmond as a National Historic District. Right. The way Scalis is going. It's it's very, it's really going over very well in East Calis. The, the, Great. The, the people that know about it uh, are up for it and excited about it. And, uh, did you have a good turnout at that meeting? We did. I didn't think we'd get very many. <coughs> 25 people is That's a is good a turnout. turnout. Yeah. That I doesn't include. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's great. Yeah, you guys are just rocking and rolling all these. Yeah, and, yeah, and Adamant will be very different, but I think we we're we're almost sure we're going to apply for the way to do Adamant. Yeah, Jeremy sent out an email with something about Adamant with the co-op. Yeah, it was like the first one in the country or something. It was a, a leader in the co-op movement. It was one of the first credit unions ever. Yeah, from that mm -hmm. from the co-op, but. Guess what else grew from the co-op? Washington Electric Co-op. That really? came from Adamant. The really? first four, I oh, I didn't know the that. first three directors were also directors of the Adamant mm -hmm. Consumer Co-op. Wow, that's a great history. Adamant rocks. A bunch yeah. of socialists. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wobblers. <laughs> Wobblers. Yeah. 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 Red and roses. Well, you'll, it'll be interesting to yeah. find out what exactly. else you find out about, you know, Adamant because there's the music school and the old granite. Place. So yeah. there's a lot of really good stuff there. It really needs to be written down in a, uh, one place, and that's what this the grant does. The grant does, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else from anybody? Um, any additions or changes to the agenda? I'm thinking that given what we have on the agenda, we may not get to the road naming and credit card policy. We'll see. But I'm thinking we may have to push that to another meeting. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of moving things around because Ernie has to get home to kid father duty or whatever. So we're going to swap things around and do the um, renovation Green Line Builders presentation first. John, uh, Scott or, I mean, uh, John or Ernie or Scott, who wants to, who wants to lead, the, lead the way? Thanks for coming, Ernie. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, not a problem. Do you know everybody? No. Okay, why don't we go around the room? Rose. Yeah, I'm Rose Palcha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cliff Evans. Yeah, I've met you met today. Yeah. yeah, you know me. John, I know John. I just met you out in my parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is Katie. Hi. Thank you. I'm your foreign secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. So, we put together quite a detailed proposal. It, very detailed. Thank you very much for doing that. Yeah. I know you spent a lot of time doing it. <laughs> it's a bit of a work in progress. Yeah. Um, just in terms of there are some unknowns, there's some allowances, um, things to be worked out. But the, the, the most recent version that we had submitted took out some of those allowances. I tried to indicate on there what was removed just for clarity purposes. Mm -hmm. On screen here. Yeah, the changes are on the second page, and then the re stuff you removed are on the second page. Yeah, I mean, the biggest stuff was to change the insulation yep. from spray foam to cellulose, uh, changing the framing, you know, for the stick framing the roof system to trusses, um, tightening up the you know, the, the price for the front stairs. Um, initially, we held an allowance because it was not settled on the, you know, the historic, uh, if it was gonna be historically different or, you know, the cable rails that we went with. And in that time, it was decided to go with the cable rails or, the, you know, the stainless steel. Where are those lines. going, Marie? The cable? It's the, the, the front stairs and the balustrade mm -hmm. up top, so mm -hmm. it would be 
pressure treated mule post to match what was originally there. Mm -hmm. And then there would be the cable ties every four mm -hmm. inches. Um, and then there's drawn, you know, metal, metal handrails up there as well. We weren't sure initially if there was going to be like, you know, balusters or, you know, if it was going to be tried to look historical. Um, but that was approved by the Historic yeah. Preservation Committee. Yeah. Yeah. Why are things? Yeah. I think common, are they safer or something? Or why, why do they? They're, they're preferred in historic preservation because they simply don't draw your attention to something that is driven by code. So we must have the four inches between the balusters. That would never look historic because uh -huh. there would be much bigger gaps. So the, the cables are a quiet way of satisfying code without drawing undue attention. So they're frequently used now <clears throat> in applications like this to prevent children from thrust right from thrusting themselves between the balusters. Which used to happen an awful lot in the 18th century. <laughs> <laughs> and we yell from our cemetery. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pick rocks? Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> and there also we had a big savings on the fireproof doors, right, John? Or the, the doors? There was a savings there, yeah. Yeah. Initially, when we first met, you know, we just priced out the fire rated doors, you know, the, the 90 minute version, and just used that pricing across the board. Right. And then when we met, for revisions, realized the bathroom doors didn't need to be fire coated. Right, so we saved quite a bit of money on the doors. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's, I think, part of the challenge is, you know, some of the decisions and some of the choices. I mean, if we tighten those things up, you know, we yeah. can be more accurate. And do we have, I was just looking at this again, do we have any contingency money? Uh, basically, I, I don't see it myself. I think we're going to spend the money we have on the building. We. Um, so, so we're going to keep, especially early on, looking for the most economical way to approach it. Mm -hmm. When the project's done, we're not going to have money left. Right. So, so the a contingency is is an amount of money that's set aside just to deal with unforeseen mm -hmm. things that come up. And, and if unforeseen things don't come up, you kind of expect that contingency to be there. At the end of the project, there's not going to be a Right. I mean, Donna did a pretty good estimate that that's one of these documents of, you know, how much money we had to start with, how much we spent, your quote, um, and does this include the septic? Yeah, septic. So. Can we go back to that document you were just on, Jeff? Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask Ernie about the. I mean, part of what part of what you've done, it looks like, is kind of, thank you, uh, is refine. Which is which is, good. I mean, you, you still want a contingency if one were, you know there but you the the budget is getting more refined am i right about that yeah, yeah. so um but i'm wondering i'm wondering about these items that were just removed um because we don't have the detail yet so that seems like that becomes unbudgeted stuff that we're going to have to deal with later it might yeah. be phase three yeah so Could be, if we're absolutely there's no way we can deal with it within this that'll be part of the building will be functioning. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And phase three might in be where we really go out to foundations and do some fundraising. That's sort of the plan as far as I remember from the building committee meetings. Phase three what in phase three. It's basically stripping the upstairs. Mm -hmm. I believe it would have to be stripped to be yeah. adequately insulated. We'll, we'll look into that as we get there. But uh, the electrical certainly will be redone. So phase three is not just a little thing. Um, right. Exterior painting, the interior painting of the upstairs space, insulation and wiring of the upstairs space, it's, it's a big piece of work. Yeah. 
And I believe, too, and John, you would correct me if I'm wrong, but as I recall from some of the discussions in the committee meetings through the town hall, that uh, other opportunities for savings were looked at where it might be possible to bring in volunteers to do some of this work. Yeah, some of the painting. Specifically the yeah. painting. Yeah, because right. we, you know, typically pre-prime and one coat paint everything on the exterior, so all the clapboards, all the exterior trim. We can um, have a special select board meeting to do painting. <laughs> <laughs> we carried all summer long. We <laughs> carried a, uh, a budget for that because typically, um, you know, oftentimes clients suggest that they'll do that or take it on, um, and it sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't happen. So, you know, we wanted to make sure we're budgeting for that. But if we can get volunteers to jump mm -hmm. in and, and be a part of that, we're open right. to it. Awesome. Oh, we've also, you know, said that you know, the, the downstairs, because it's going to be done first, that's the main focus because that's going to be used for municipal space. Um, and we've been telling folks that, you know, don't be planning a musical or a play or anything for upstairs anytime soon. So we're just trying to get that word out so people aren't disappointed that, you know, they can't be using it as a performance space as soon as we thought we might be able to. We might have to bring in a small flotilla of porta potties, but the upstairs will be usable um, in that it will have code compliant means of egress. It will be safe. Yeah, and the stage will, will be set up. Right. Will have the bars, right? The, that kind of stuff. The doors will have the appropriate piano hardware. Right. Yeah. So there's there's stuff going on right now which will make right. the upstairs more usable. Um, and we also have to apply to the DRV. Um, in a timely fashion to do a change of use, a change of use permit. Yeah. So that's something we can work on through the winter when Ernie's working on the exactly. building. Yeah, I mean, we, we included the structural modifications to the stage because that has to happen for the, the doorway the to be located. Yeah. Yeah. But we removed anything in terms of finishing. You know, there was talk about the facade using the old pews and the butternut to create a facade around the mm -hmm. stage. But those are the details that we didn't have, and so that's why we just pulled that out. Um, right. But there is, you know, the front, the double entry doors would be removed, scraped, primed, painted, weather stripped, mm -hmm. the new panic hardware, the downstairs historical door, uh, same treatment. That would, that's actually getting removed and raised, and so that would have a new jam constructed, mm -hmm. uh, but the door would be salvaged. Um, we decided that the, the lower entry roof, the roofing is in decent condition, and so we didn't see any reason to change that now. Mm -hmm. The front porch roof would get new roofing, um, and then obviously all the new work would get new roofing as well. Yeah, yeah I mean, also, the uh, change of um, we talked about before, Ernie, with uh, using trusses. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The lot of us to recognize savings as well. Yeah, and that again, it's still sort of a work in progress. John just mentioned that he's been able to come up with a design, a, a scissor truss design, and so I think with that, you know, we can uh, send that out and get that quoted as well. And if that's a, a cost savings option. Mm -hmm. You know, the big thing with the truss is to make sure there's a room for the elevator. Right. And so assuming the scissor truss could work and was cheaper. Um, that's something that you build on sense. site? Or you would send it out to? I'd probably send it out. Send it out to yeah. Canada? Yeah. So this is kind of a fine point. I, I read somewhere there, there was going to be in addition to the cellulose foam board on the inside, I can't remember if it was the walls or the ceiling. I think it was the walls, right? It's the walls. And why, yeah. why isn't it going on the ceiling? Well, it actually would on the um, on the slopes as well. The insulator I spoke to um, said it's not necessary on the flats because you're, we're putting in so much cellulose on the flats. On the slope, you're restricted by the uh, I see. Uh, depth of the rafter. Mm -hmm. But on the truss drawing that they came up with, John noted it looked like it was wider than you know the 2 by 12 rafters. And mm -hmm. so um, if we can get away without it there, 
but it's nice because it you know cre it, it gives you that thermal break on the inside it, it's got the re you know the reflectivity um, and then when the joints are all taped it gives you a really good air seal and so you know there's definitely a benefit to that um, that's why I was wondering if we can just wrap it on board yeah it didn't seem like that we were but I, I'm budgeted for that so okay. it would be walls so in the existing space it would be all three exterior walls not the wall where the addition meets mm -hmm. and then in the addition it would be all the exterior walls mm -hmm. all the way up and then the underside of the roof system as well is cellulose the same thing as rock salt cellulose is uh it's like a recycled newspaper where they they chop up the newspapers mm -hmm. and then blow it into the wall uh, rock salt is like the mineral it's a spun mineral wool um, so it's like fiberglass insulation it's like rock wool yeah. Wool yeah 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 so rock soul installs like fiberglass right um, and it's comparable to fiberglass right. we were having a discussion about that yeah, <laughs> yeah. trying to explain it used to be it. pretty nasty to handle as I recall yeah it's not bad now the rock soul predates predates fiberglass fiberglass came out Pink Panther? Yeah. The cellulose is nice. Um, you know, basically, either you net the walls and then blow it in there, or you use this foam board. Um, and But basically, you, you, you know, install it with the tube and, mm -hmm. and blow it in, and it fills up the whole cavity. So um, you, would, you would get somebody to do that part of it? Yeah, I have yeah. two quotes on that. So this wouldn't be dense pack? This would be, this would be dense oh, pack. Oh, it would be okay. yeah. it's a little wet. Not so. wet spray. So okay. <laughs> there's damp spray cellulose, yeah. there's dense pack cellulose, yeah. and then open blow. Okay. And open blow is usually on your flats mm -hmm. um, where they'll just right. fill it up. Dense pack is when you're in that restricted space, and so you have to achieve a certain density to get the R values mm -hmm. that we're going for. Um, so you don't need to use the damp stuff because it's already going to have a board. We would, blocking we would it would either be netted and then put the rigid foam over it or install the rigid foam. You would then have to still do some type of backer to resist you know, that pressure when it's dense packed. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would defer to the insulator and how they want, you know, want to do mm -hmm. that. So I guess the goal tonight for the board is to approve or not to go with Green Line Builders estimate. So approve that. We approve the estimate as provided to date on this baby. Uh, 9 26, 2018, and as amended by Penn and Ink, I'm assuming by, yeah, by Donna. the contract. Oh, Donna? Right. That was the 266000 Between our last meeting and then getting the actual right. pricing of the trusses and the trust configuration. Right, right. So the flex increase in trust cost. Could you say that for one more time? As so, amended, so the. Say, yeah. The, uh, there's an estimate by Green Mine Builders dated uh, September 26, 2018. Yeah. Uh, some total estimate amount is $266,000. And I'm moving that we uh, approve the financing of that project. Right. With the as proposed. Right, with the change in the estimate reflected um, as of October 18th. From 264, 30950 to 266. Right. It's, it's, it's written in income. Okay, yep. in income. okay, I'll second that motion. And Is I there would, further discussion? Yes. I would like to amend to say, as informed by Donna's summary of where we are on the budget. That's the October 18th memo. Is that what you were? I thought yeah. we, we thought you were talking about the trust issue. Um, no, she in general she had this right. Yeah, memo that she put out. <laughs> no, we, yeah, the, uh, we thought you were referring to the trust when you said yeah. honestly. Right. Yeah. Just making sh sure that. Yeah. Um, this memo here, the card as informed by Donna's. Well, and I was thinking of the numbers where she specifically laid it all out. Right. Well, that's that included in budget. Yeah. So October that's eighteenth, twenty eighteen. Yeah. Right. And, and then, then the, the estimated expenses as of October nineteenth, eighteen. That's that layout. Yeah. 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 So we are worked. There it is. There. That we, yeah. Just, yep. if, Katie, if you could draft that so that 
The motion we, includes that we're still within budget. Or within the expenses that we have, or the yeah, revenue that we have. Yeah, I'll second the amended motion. Any further discussion, comments, questions? All Sounds those in favor, great. please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. Thank you so so much, Ernie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, hey, John. Thank you. Look at all the work John's done for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> me, it's just some vandal that shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Home alone. Yeah, well, I also seem to recall, for the record, it should be noted that uh, some of the savings that we realized on this quote is due to John continuing in his volunteer capacity, and right. he will be straw bossing for the plumbing and electricity. Right. And I want to say, if we're talking about savings, thank you, Alfred. Yeah. Road mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't, we really wouldn't even have the project. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So true. We want Thank to put a picture in the town report of the road crew working on the town hall building. <laughs> I think I think it really. Are there photos there. out there? Somewhere? Yeah, I, I think it speaks yeah. volumes to the amount of team effort that has gone into this project. It really is a huge team effort with a lot of volunteer time and labor. It's just it's it's pretty amazing. I have to say. Remember the, the children's book about the new town hall <laughs> where the excavator gets, yeah. gets yes. in the... We were just talking about that the other day. The steam, the steam <laughs> shovel. The steam shovel. Steam 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 shovel. shovel. Yeah. He, got, he, he dug the hole yeah. to the steam shovel get out. and then he couldn't get, get out. out. <laughs> so they built the building around the steam shovel. But then it came from the Right. <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. We should get a copy of that book. Yeah, that's <laughs> we should get a copy. It'll look like goodie. It's just, I was one of my favorite books. Oh, yeah, I love that. Book. I don't I don't know. Oh, you that. poor thing. You have so I predate the show. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you, don't. <laughs> you don't. You just don't know the book. <laughs> it was Nobody a little golden book, John. You're a child. That explains it. I was <laughs> damaged. All right, anything else on town hall? When can you start? <laughs> we'll start as soon as we can, as soon as things are ready. Um, I know you said you had a project in Greensboro or something. Or that's something. wrapping up, and we have the kitchen we're wrapping up. But basically, as soon as the foundations are done, which I think they're, What's they're the schedule on track for. So, Are the Perry's ready to come back and finish up? Or? I'll be and I will talk about stuff. We've got a piece of conduit to put in that back thing of the wall, so we'll just pour it. And that can be built. Talk about slabs and piers. Yeah, most mm -hmm. of it's ready for back yeah. Wow. Once we get Very good. Get the Excellent. underground power and there's a bunch of dirt there that we can stop piling and I've got dirt on hand to do it quickly once we're ready. Yeah. Which we you know need to be doing because the ground's gonna freeze. Yeah. And, yeah. It would be nice to get that mm -hmm. smoothed up and shaped and, you know, get it so the water runs away before the winter sets in. Great. Yes, that would be very good. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. You're, thank you. You get to go home and do kid duty now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Last soccer game of the season. Oh. All right. Thank wow. you. Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, David. Thank John. you. Thanks thank you. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and there's a lot of things to sign, so oh, we need to no. check them before okay. I sit back in the office. Join us, Alfred. Mm -hmm. All righty. Good night, folks. Good night. Good night. All right, thank you. Good night. Um, all right, so Toby's not available to join us. Um, He provided this preliminary plan. Did you work on this preliminary budget with him? Uh, he put it together and then I went through, we went through it piece by piece and we made okay. some changes and that's where the second one came um, from. Maybe you only got the one after. He brought me one. Let me show you where, which one I'm looking at. So that's the that's the second one. We worked on it after okay. before this one. So Cliff will bring it up on the screen so we can all see it at the same time. 
This is just preliminary, just to get, we gotta right. start somewhere. Yeah. This is ground one, something. Yeah, and we're getting a good jump start on it. Yeah, the which is good. Time it's January before we're starting this, and it's good to have it. Yep. Yeah. And he, Toby said he was looking at a 2% cola. Um, and then I had sent him a couple of questions. I forgot to print off the email. When you say cola, you're talking specifically cost about living. cost of living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. just the wages. That's and the wage thing from last year, Toby prepared that, right? You have it? Um, he did the initial cut, then we created a new spreadsheet that we were right. able to utilize to do the calculations with, and we do have that. Okay. So, so are we, did he, are we just going down line by line? Yeah, let's just go down line by line over to the, uh, maybe we can, is there a way to click to do FY19 one. and FY20? Um, yeah. Can you like maybe shrink it or something? Cliff, maybe hide a few cloud columns. Mm -hmm. And he did a five-year average, which just because, so we'd have those, and those that's figures. An, that's yeah, the, it's just, a way of, just another way of figuring right. it. Is that the average of 14 through 18 actual? Yes. Right, it doesn't include the budget for 2019? No, because we're not through right. it yet. Right, right, just want to show <coughs> what we're averaging. <coughs> oh, Google. There is and one. we don't have definite figures on health insurance and things like that. We're in the process of looking at um, some health insurance options and there might be another plan out there that might save some money but we're not sure. Yeah, we got we got a notice from them saying that there was... The LCT? Yeah. yeah, well, from Blue, Blue Cross, Blue Cross Shield. Shield, yeah. And so that drummed up some questions from the guys and I told them that we we're, would be talking about it. Right. Well, we missed our meeting with the road crew um, beginning of October, and I had sent you an email seeing if we could do an update, and I didn't hear back from you, so we should set that up because it would be good to see what their questions are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been a little busy. Yeah, I know. It's, but it's not because I was blowing you off or anything. I just no, I didn't think so. I just wanted to right <laughs> make sure that we and finishing up these last projects. Right. Yeah, I just want to make sure we keep to our word and you know. Sure. Yeah. and meet and see what questions they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just let me know when things are better. Yeah, well, once that town hall's done, things will be better. That's, right. that's unless, sort of, unless it snows a lot. Well, yeah, <laughs> that too. So some of the, tell it, point out to us some of the items that you think are significant changes or, I mean, he's added a couple of new um, line items like the municipal roads general permit, which we hadn't had to do before. Um, erosion right. stone. Yeah, erosion stone. That's new. Yeah, I, would, I was thinking. I suggested that we should break it down. Break that down into its own line item mm -hmm. because it's something new that we are being forced to do with the general permit and whatnot. Okay, so that's part of the general permit. Okay. Yeah, I mean we. We did stone before, but now it's like every project we do, we have to stone line because of the because of the general permit. Oh, that's a condition of the general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything that's yep. over five percent grade, it's got to be stone line, and, and every culvert needs to be yep. stone line in with out with. Uh, so I just thought maybe we should just add a, a line item for that. Good idea. In the past, we've always just taken it out of the yep. travel budget and. Might just be a better way to track some of the expenses that we're forced to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, bridges and culverts, that's down a little bit. I mean, nothing really jumps out at me as a huge No, nothing's change. really a huge change. I mean, well, except the bottom line. Well, right. So that, yeah, so if we could break down where that 40. Yeah, I mean, it's little bits and pieces here and there, because we, we talked about um, this year we didn't budget, well, we did a budget for um, two cuts, two roadside mowing. Right. And that's, that's in there now. That's a bike. 
Um, where, where, is, where is that? Like, it's about three quarters of the way down. It's 5037 Roadside Mowing. Okay, so it's its own line. Yeah. And then... Um, so guardrails, I suggested we beef that up a little bit. Right, that's $3,000 more. But we also can see the five-year average to guardrails, which is... Um, 5040. 5040. Is, no, 5, 5061. Oh, 504 is the line, line number, not the number. Right. So you can see the average has been about 6,000. And so we're proposing 6118, is that right? It, the, average, the average is 6,118. Or the and, and the main reason why I was why I thought that was a good idea is because most of the grants that we do now don't cover the guardrail that we prefer. Right, right. This so way. you know we gotta we gotta foot that bill. Right. When you say that, you're talking about like like the conversation we had out at North Towns, the, the weathered steel, the weathered steel, steel. The, yeah. the aesthetic. Right. right. Because right. the state doesn't recognize it as, as a feasible product, so they won't pay for it in the grants. Now, John, you had a conversation with the Alex. Uh, sorry, he was do they, look into do they, whether they could cover yeah. the galvanized. But amount. do they do the difference? Do they like? That's what I asked them. They said they're looking through it, right? Oh, he hasn't yeah. got that. It's a state, it. it's a policy that didn't go through rulemaking. They just made it up. Um, I mean, it's based on. Right. We know the report, um, but it's still it's uh, in-house guidance that they're applying to us. What's the? Can can we go back? I, I, I want to go back up to the, we could and go back up to the top and just go, go line, line by line. Yeah, I, that's. Um, there's so, what, so for the insurances we don't really have a lot of information yet, so that's subject to change. Hang on, can we go? But then you, can we start with the way to start right at the top? Yeah. I, um, so we have two o four is. Is two o eight? What did you say that? Is that exactly two, two and a half or two percent? Two percent. Okay. All right. That's exactly where that increase comes right. from. Right. And that's a budgeted increase for a, for the crew to raise. Right. <laughs> that, now that what that doesn't include, in which I asked Toby, is whether or not there would be any kind of merit increases because if we're going to budget. We should budget for those as well. Right. So maybe right. the next time we talk about it, you can have some idea of what you're looking at. And you said right. you yeah. said CPI is two point seven. Seven. So that's about two percent. Is good. Slow. Slow. Yeah. But if we're going to look at merit increases on top of it, right. it's not so well, bad. It's the, as far as the merits go, we got we got to finish up with the evaluation. Yeah, I mean, I don't anticipate a huge merit raises. Uh, we did pretty well with Paul, and I think he's satisfied now. Okay. Um, and I don't think that the others are all that dissatisfied. Um, so I think, I mean, certainly we can look at that some more, but um, yeah. I don't think it's going to be a huge hike that we need to think about as far as the budget goes. Okay. Unless you think I'm doing an outstanding job. <laughs> We're always thankful. For you. <laughs> you didn't lose the steam show outside the town hall. Right. I, I just want to say, as kind of a placeholder, that I think we should think about merit increase outside of whether people are, are you know, yakking and yanking on a chain for it. That it, sh it should be something we, we look at and have a budget for each year so that you're not running into that. Um, you know, it's to, it's uh, to stabilize, mm -hmm. yeah. stable stabilize both the budget right. and the expectations. Right, right, and that's why we're gonna really keep track of the evaluations. I've got the form done now because we did one already, so right. it's pretty right. pretty easy now for you to go in and just check the boxes and write in some comments. And I right, and, and I typed it for you so that any other comments you had, I can put in there. Right. And then I think we have to have a. System. That's why I'm looking to get some better figures for the budget. Yep, yep. yep. So, that, so that the merit budget is not a discussion about 
how are the guys doing? It's just a budget discussion of what we can afford to put into a merit pool. And the highway wages do not include the operations manager. And the operations manager seems like it should be part of the highway budget. Yeah, yeah why wouldn't it? It's not on here. So that was one thing I noticed that we should add. Well, except the, the operations manager has project duties, am I right? No. Not, not, that's yeah. not. Thought that's we had thought that was the case, but we were, anyways, that's a different discussion. But I think the operations manager, because it's been mainly highway, should be part of the highway budget and not be part of the office, office budget. So we'll need to add that in there. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so going back down through, let's, we really can't talk a lot about the insurance because we don't know. What about gas and? That's a good job. Fuel, you think, yeah, because I think fuel is going to go up, don't you? It's already going up. If you go to the gallon, you go to the gas station. Yeah. I think the bone saw guaranteed it's going to go up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. Yeah, I mean, it's more about just being prepared. I mean, right. it, it, it's, it's only a budget, and if we don't use it, it's, it's still there. Right. But if we don't budget, Under budget. It, then, we're, then we're in more trouble. Right. So, you know. It's hard to know what fuel prices are going to do, but we've seen it in the past right. where we were paying $4, $5 a, a gallon for it. And, you know, I don't want to be in that position where we can't run our trucks because we have to, you know, skimp on the fuel use. Right. All the more reason to have a local pit, right? Get our fuel costs and wear and tear costs down. Yeah. Okay. Fuel, gas, diesel. And then, can I add a little bit more to that? Yeah. Uh, these newer trucks now, we have to buy this this uh, urea, mm -hmm. which is it's just an added <coughs> thing that makes them more more uh, economical and cleaner burning. You put it right in the so gas tank. It's a separate right tank. It's a separate tank, and we mm -hmm. so we buy it by the 55 gallon drum. It's 200 bucks or so for for a drum, and now we're adding another truck to that mm -hmm. usage. So. Uh, can we add we, this? Can we add that to the fuel, oil, diesel line? Yeah, that's started? where I take it out of when I, when I it, buy a, that. That's how do you spell it? U R E A. Do you, and so $200 a drum, how many drums a season a year? Um, I'm going to say probably five, but that's going to change because, like I said, we're adding a new truck right. now. And, and it costs $200 a drum? I just want to, I mean, it's included in your price. I just want to add it to the text. You, well, no, I was just explaining why the fuel, that's part of the reason why I decided to put the fuel budget up some. Right. Because so that's an added expense to us that we haven't had in the right. past five years. I just want to add the text. You're going to acknowledge that. In the She's I'm just going to add, urea add the word urea, urea oh. here. I so see. that. Sure. Okay. Sure. All right. Equipment repairs and maintenance, that's pretty much where it was. Equipment hired. Um, purchases and launches. This isn't this is including the lease. Um, that includes the payment, yes. That will include the new that includes payment. The payment. The, the night the Western Star. Yes. Okay. What is the treasure? Uh, point that's showing up in column that's here and then. That's, that's for her to give us a number. Okay. Because that's all stuff that she deals with. Okay. And that's because, and that's why the health insurance and stuff like that, we're still working on that. We talked about it last Wednesday a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have we gotten rid of that truck yet? Uh, they just called and said it's ready to come back. No. But the, <laughs> the uh, auctioneer or whoever is going to buy it's it. Really yeah. seller. I, I, <laughs> I haven't got a hold of them yet, but I will. Um, we don't want it back. <laughs> we really don't want it back, that's right. right. That's right. Just leave it there. Um, I need to get a hold of the wholesaler and, and get that process started. Um, and if it's running when it leaves their shop. Right. I mean, it would be best if we just, yeah, we just didn't handle it at all. Okay. okay um, so we're, we're at gravel? Gravel. Okay, that's a little bit more than last year. Sand, a little bit more. Um, 
erosion stone, you know, we already talked about chloride. Salt is a pretty five thousand or so dollar jump. Yeah, wow. Um, is it the price gone up? We decided that because of the new uh, salt solution that we're using. The oh, on the county road stuff. The stuff for the county road. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, the salt was two twenty thousand and nineteen. That's the yeah, five year average. And that mm -hmm. and that five stuff year is average was fifteen seven thirty. Yeah. yeah. Right. That stuff is that stuff is more expensive. Well, it's just it's an added expense to us. Uh, that we haven't had it's, before. An, it's additional, right? right? Additional product. And it's the magic salt. Is that what I call magic salt? Magic salt, salt. Yeah. yeah. But we're not using less of the regular salt because of it? I haven't experienced that yet. Uh, we didn't buy this new product until late in the year, like in the spring. So right. I only got to use it once, so I can't really. So we might discover. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. But well, cause rather be safe than sorry, you know, yeah. given that we're going to be buying this product more throughout this winter. And we have the machine to put it on with? Uh, we, I mix it right in the salt shed. So I bought a pump. Mm -hmm. So I just pump it and I spray it right on the salt and then I can really load it on the truck. So okay. it's all treated before it goes on the truck. I see. Okay. I thought it had its own kind of sprayer. Something it's, like it's something I made up. It's, I had to buy a pump with a hose and with a wand, and I just spray it and let go. Okay. Bridges and culverts. Um, that's about the that's same about amount. The same, yeah. Garage maintenance, same. Now there's supplies. We didn't, we didn't budget anything for supplies. So I don't know if I'm, that was. I don't know what, what exactly. I don't know what that, that would buy. What the supplies buy? I mean, like most of the stuff that I buy at the shop would be garbage, garbage bags and paper towel and pencils. What? Paper for the printer. Pencils. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, I think we should have something in there. I don't know for sure why that's why that's blank, but. Yeah, I mean, I think we should. We don't have anything according to this. Let's get 500 in there. I was thinking 1,000. Um, I don't even see it. I don't, I don't Did see it move it. into another? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Did it kind of get taken up in other ways? Yeah, I'm sure it moved into another um, row. Let's make, a, let's make a note that we have a question on whether or not we should be having some kind of an amount of supplies. You're getting this off for the minutes, right, Katie? Mm -hmm. So. Some of you might be able to tell us in this absence. Yeah. So I'm going to put a question mark on supplies. Sure. Um, utilities. Um, that stays same. about the same. Yeah. yeah. Communications. I think a bunch of utilities are going in for rate increases, by the way. Are they? Computer expenses. How's your computer holding up? Uh, <coughs> the actual laptop is gone. Doesn't, it's not any good. So what are you using? Uh, the tablet. Okay. My iPad. Because I've got that one know. at home that I keep going to bring in that the town bought for me to use, but I use my own. And it's... I don't know, is Scott still here? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, there you are. Remember that computer that you got me? Yeah, that you ordered? Yeah. Right, I wonder, um, okay. I keep going to bring that in to use for something in the office. So maybe that will work for you. It's hard to do everything on a tablet. It is hard. And I, I've actually lost a lot of my, not lost, but I don't have a lot of the stuff that I was using before. Yeah, it's got like a lot the weather channel and a lot, you know. Well, you can have that stuff transferred. Right, and to Toby's got it, and he was going to take it somewhere to do Tom Frost. Yeah, Tom Frost, right well, Yeah, I know he's good. He's yeah. done my he's home cheap. computers, but yeah. Toby took it. So oh. he's, he's a right. driver. Well, so let me, I'm let's waiting make... to see what happens. Well, you don't want to lose that. But in the meantime, right. I'm using, I'm using the, the, iPad? the iPad. So let's, so I want to make a note then to Ask Toby about the laptop because maybe 
Toby can get that computer to Tom and we can get that other one set up for you because I know it's a pain those little tiny. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it works, but it's just it's a different format and it's just yeah, you know. It's uh it, all this is new to me to begin with, so Right. <laughs> when I got I used to the laptop out. then <laughs> and all of a sudden now I got a tablet, it's like I'm learning again. again. You yeah. toss that out there, Alfie, like with no big thing. You have a tablet. You have Yeah. But Alfred responds. I'm making it work. I'm making it work. Really good. Yeah. Big smart. I'm assuming the vein we're updating computers in the office. So I want the police to deploy these to other. Yeah. Rotate them out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The computer expenses. I mean, that's only in for 200. Is that? That's not much. That's what we were just saying. If we're looking at new equipment. In some other areas, um, I think it should be higher. I think it should be a thousand there, and then supplies. What did you say? Eight hundred. Eight hundred or a thousand. Okay. Um, uniforms. That's a set price, and that's why it says treasurer. Trash removal. You take it up to the school now. Uh, yes, for the most part, like the shop trash goes, I share the dumpster with them as a trade-off for the salt that they come and get. Oh, right, water. right. That's been a deal I made with them for years. <laughs> right, plus we plow the driveway and stuff, so that's yeah. a trade-off too. Well, we sand the driveway. Right. Um, they got somebody else to plow it. Oh, oh is that right? Okay, I thought yeah. we knew what the um, town was doing it. Okay. No. Um, but that's been, that works fine. Um, and tire, tire recycle, are we done with that? Well, I was just going to say that there are times that we do have trash that we pick up beside the road. Somebody throws a couch out or tires or... Right. And we have to take it to the dump. So that's, I think that we should have something in there for that. For, you mean more than... Um, for the trash. trash. No, I think the number's fine. I just... Oh, okay. Well, no, actually... You have delays. Yeah, so, so I think we should have something in there, don't you? Yeah, I do. Because yeah, you also do the... Uh, Right, the green up we get a grant for every okay. year, so that kind of washes. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's just throughout the year. Sometimes we do have stuff that we have to take to, to the dump right. it's off the side of the road. Do so you think two hundred enough, or I think it's been five in the past, but I don't see well, it here as that. Trash removal in FY seventeen, we had twenty five dollars. Yeah. But in the 16, we had 375. Pick up truck load at CV used to be 125. I think it's more than that. Right? Yeah, there's a minimum. Yeah, it's like a $130 minimum. Yeah, something like that's crazy. So you think 500? 500 is good. I, I would be comfortable with that. Recycling, and that is that for our tires, or does that the one include the ones that people throw on the side of the road? Uh, that's some of both. Like I said, the grant pays for the tires from Green Up. Yeah. And when we do Green Up Day, we count the tires, so they'll pay. The grant will pay for that much. Mm -hmm. But there are tires that we generate also. Yeah. Um, so we have to pay for those ourselves, and that's where the hundred and fifty dollars comes from, I believe. Okay, well, I put in 500, so we'll see. Okay. Um, now, here, there's welding, shop supplies, and tools. Now, I don't know if maybe that's why this supply line item is blank, but when I think of shop supplies and other supplies, to me, they're different. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, now that we've got the break, break room and, you know, it's a different facility, so we've got to, we're constantly buying. Paper towels. Paper towels. You know. Right. Okay. Um, roadside mowing. Now we had talked a few times about what would it cost to buy a mower thing. So we can mower. Of the side arm. Yeah. A used one. Do you have any idea? Um, he small player just bought one, a brand new one. Right. But if we were to buy. One hundred and twenty grand. Uh, for a yeah. brand new one. Brand new one. 
the brand new album. It's an album of what, right? right. Top, top, top lines in the M series, John Deere, Spencer. But I mean, we're talking tractors, about you can get a good deal used yeah. you know, on a tractor and then buy them over separately. Right. Well, and plus there are, there are companies that rent those mowers that after so many years they sell them. Right. Yeah. You know, so you can probably get a, a break there. Yeah. If you want me to look into them, I, I certainly can. Yeah, that would be good. And maybe you could do that before we meet the next I think we should budget 60000 60000 That would have to be a, well, that would be a, well, that would be a warned. That would be a warned item. A warned item. Okay. Um, and that would, you know. You know, you figured a payment on that. What are we paying for roadside mowing? Ten grand a year. Yeah. yeah. Cover six years. payment. Six years. You're paid for. It's paid for. Yeah. And then we could, because of the invasives and all looking at right. the control of that and people putting up signs that it's not being mowed and somebody mad because their burdocks didn't get right. mowed and, um, you know, then we could do it. You know, more Continually. often. Right. More often. I think we give them. Hire a part-time kid, summer. Summer, you know, summer help. job. Yeah. Just to keep driving around. Yeah, and keep that separate from you know from the road crews. So right. Road crews keep their right. 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 So we don't interfere with that schedule. But you would have it there also. If you get the right mower, you can the brush that's creeping. At, at height over the road. Be careful, you know, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking. You're giving me permission. It sounds no, like. I'm not talking about putting <laughs> trees down. I'm talking about the limbs that are doing right. this. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. hands yeah. that are grabbing oh, into this. I know what you're saying. Right. The ones that keep falling so, on the base. So those, mower, those mowers can be articulated so they're vertical. Um, you can basically mow down the wall. Well, there's and, been, and get the you know the the tree yeah. limbs back. <laughs> you know where you need to. Right. All right, Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> well, alders, I know Bain from Holy Road has had the a lot of limbs down alders, yeah. all summer. Yeah. They've been bowing limbs, so that's what he's talking about. Right. Right. So, so I'm suggesting the road crew in the off season or whatever they could use that on projects too. They could. Right. When they're doing work, ditching, they could also do that. Mm -hmm. So that can would be an article, though, right? We'll right. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I can get some numbers, so before we that'd be before great. we lock that in, I should let me get numbers to see what, yep. what's out there. Well, we're going to be working on the warned items, you know, and budget right. stuff kind of all at the same time, so. Yeah. So I bought I bought a hundred horse, hundred and ten horse tractor, with six hundred hours, six hundred ninety hours on it. Looks like Brandon didn't have a mark on it until I got it, and that was thirty-seven thousand dollars. And that's a sixty-five thousand dollar tractor. It? It was Craigslist. Craigslist. There's one there right now. It was the same price. Almost the identical tractor, a little newer, 39. But you could probably Can you get send it. a link to Alfred for that? Can you take a look at it? <laughs> All right, let's finish up this. Um, roadside modeling, we kind of talked about that with the track. Road signs. Now, somebody asked me, I can't remember who it was, that. The road signs in East E911 road signs in East Montpelier seem to be smaller. Is there? Are they just not keeping up with making the change out and following the regs, or is there? If they're if they're smaller than the regs, then they're not following the regs. Okay. No, was like, I can't remember who asked me that, but their their 12 inch sign is what is the is the regulation sign. Yeah. Nine inch letters. Pavement, crack and seal. Oh, that went down. Okay. Yeah. Passive. <coughs> that's the ergonomic things like that, right? Right, right. That's the grants that we right. get safety stuff and whatnot. Um, Miscellaneous. I don't know. Do you know what we've used that line for before? Uh, use it for like water, for the water fountain that we have at the shop. Yeah, see, so now to me that should be supplies. Supplies, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, education and training. Do you, do we ever use all of that? I mean, I'd like to see you guys go to. Uh, you know, 
give everybody a chance to go kind of thing. It's the last. Um, I mean, it says five year average, $482. Yeah. So maybe we went to 500. Went down to 500. Yeah. Well, but except for I don't want to do that if you got. No, we're going to them. Um, uh, the guys all want to go to them. That's good. I want them to um, go. Everybody should get a turn to go. So yeah, I would think that we'd want to leave that as it is. Yeah. Okay. So I so have this. Given those changes that we just made, you'll you'll print that up into a new right I have the spreadsheet Toby sent us that I can yeah. make changes to um, and I'll try to make a notation and Katie's got stuff in the minutes yeah. so we're not approving this no no this is well, just, no, just preliminary. The first cut. this is preliminary preliminary right right uh, yeah when we when we think we're we're you know getting closer to well, that's when we, that's when we have to slash and burn. Then we look and say, okay, good. Then yeah. we'll say, we have we're at 15%. That's right. not going to work. Right. Okay. This is the wish list. Right. Okay, fair enough. Okay. All right. Anything else? Mm, not as far as the budget goes. Or yeah. no, I actually want to ask, since it's kind of on highway. Um, I got a the, question, too. The, guard, the, uh, the patchwork quill of the guard rail, I understand I talked to Toby about it up on. Jack Hill. Yeah. Jack Hill, that yeah. they're, they're coming back. Uh, they're gonna I think the we're going to in. change them out. The the new rail is in. I just haven't why, had a chance. Why aren't they doing it? We paid them for a certain spec. We? Well, they they we paid them for the the aluminum radiuses or the the galvanized radiuses. What does that mean? No, but when we when we. Did we get an estimate on the guardrail part of that job? I thought we picked them. Yeah. And it, what was yet? Yeah, we were supplying the materials, and they were installing. What was the deal? No, they with? came and put them in, but they didn't have the the four ten radiuses right in stock. So I needed to have some sort of rail up there. Yeah. So they brought us used galvanized rail. So now the new rail is in, and the way I understand it is that we're going to replace it, and we'll still have the radiuses. The, you know, the, the problem with them, and maybe this is what has to happen, but the problem with that is we paid for the labor. They didn't have the materials. They, they understood, did they understand we were looking for this rail when they bid on it? Or we, um, we, we told them we needed this stuff, right? Well, I and didn't have, the, when I got that quote, I didn't have the design, the engineer design, so yeah. they didn't know that we needed radiuses. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, so I, I told them it was 400 feet of, oh. and so they have assumed that it was a straight run. Oh, okay. So, so that's why I'm okay with eating that. Okay. okay. I mean, okay. We can do it. It's, it's a half a day's work okay. to change out those. There's like four or five radiuses. And right? then do you you said you we get to keep the we will keep the the other pieces the galvanized radiuses and there's enough. We'll use them. We'll, yeah, we've got enough rails in town that. You know, get smashed right. up, cars hit them, right. trees run, hit them. I mean, that will yeah. use them. And they're good to have on hand because it's there's right. always that accident in the winter time or right. something. So, okay. Okay. so it's I think it's money well spent. It's not you know, it's it's, it's just like an investment. They charge us a use price on those. For use, yeah. you said. Yeah. 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 The other question I had, I've seen this riches tree. Mm -hmm. Um, chipping thing is that hired by? So that must be the electric. Working, they're working for co-op. Okay. Yeah. And they're they're taking it out. Yeah. I don't know. They must be. Must I mean, be they got all the right because they're working in the right away. Right. I noticed that. Yeah. Um, so it must be Washington but, Electric then. I believe so. They're the ones that yeah. hired them. Okay. I didn't. Know, I didn't think it was us, no. the town, but no. I had a couple of people ask me, but. They want yeah. to know, like, what well, happens to the chips. I know better than to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you just ask them and they'll give you the chips. Really? Yeah. 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 Ask them. Or call Washington. Okay, anything ask. else on roads so we can move on? Anything else from you? Sorry about yeah. that. Okay. I'll try to get this room. revised by the end of the week. Okay. Okay.
And then if you could let us know when you're ready for us to come to the town garage. Before, yeah. Before town, in between town, town hall and snow. Right, right. Well, I, I mean, town hall, I'm going to talk to John tomorrow about what next steps need to be, but I, I really want to move on getting that dirt put in the proper place and right. getting it leveled up. Because it's, you know, it's going to look so much better when that dirt's leveled out and everything's mm -hmm. shaped the way it's supposed to be. Yep. And I can put it out of my head. I mean, right now it's just like... Right, yeah. juggling. Yeah. 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 And I'll also talk to Toby about that computer if you're showing me a note for that too. Yeah. So we can get yeah. you better set up. Yeah, I mean, it's working. I mean, I'm able to respond. I know, you are. I'm so impressed. Do you respond to emails? <laughs> I, I even do text to the new cell phone, so if you guys need to reach me there. Oh, if there's up with me. If there's certain. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, are you the only one that has a town cell phone? The other guys don't have a cell phone. That's no. correct. They have their own personal. Ones. Right. So we got rid of the pagers? No, nope, still got the pagers. I'm wondering, maybe you don't even really need a town cell phone. I don't know. Yeah. I well, I think in the winter time it'll be more useful um, because if I'm out checking the roads in the morning, I can just call them from call the guys from the yeah, road. So and stuff. I thought we didn't have hardly any cell coverage. There's right? some spots, some spots in, in the high spots. Jack Hill's got. Or else you can text them. Can you text them if there's no cell service? Uh, text take less take less service to go through. I'm impressed. You know more about than I I don't, have a I don't do tests. Um, you should. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Yeah. It's really easy. I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alfred can teach me, right? Yeah. yeah. That'd be something, go. right? There you go. I can text from my house and I don't have cell service. Really? Right. As long as I'm yeah. texting with an iPhone. Oh. Yeah. You get one, you I have, have been, one bar you can text. I have been avoiding getting an iPhone. But it may come to that. I was the same way, but now I kind of like it. Yeah. Oh, you like that? Wow. Well, it's just like anything. It's like, you know, yeah. learning how to drive a grader. Once you know it, you like it. Right. And I didn't try to imagine going back. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, then. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Um, thank you. All right. Thanks, Alfred. Come on, Alfred. You saw the, I sent out the letter that Jim Barlow yeah. um, sent around. Our legal fees have been very manageable, and he has not even been billing us for quarters because we haven't used enough of his time. So he would like to go back down and just do an hourly rate. Um, he refunded the town $1,300 mm -hmm. because he didn't feel right taking it from us. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, how many attorneys do you ever hear refund money? Not many. So he sent us this um, revised letter of engagement, and it's been in the Google folder. Um, I found one typo, um, but I'd like to know if you'll authorize me to sign this renewed letter of engagement. With the Jim Barlow's. So move. Dated October 18th, yep. 2018. Yep. No second. Any further discussion? None. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. It's always good when we save money, right? Yep. Most most Especially attorneys lawyers. would most mm -hmm. attorneys would return money that's not due. But they would they. Well, that's a different discussion, but I don't know that they would say that they're not earning all of their keep, shall we say. Um, all right, just a couple items on the town budget and town report. You remember we met with Poplar Cemetery folks on October 1st, and they have been doing some work um, on the cemetery, and they're meeting with East Montpelier, and I can't remember now which Monday night it is, but they're meeting with the East Montpelier Select Board <coughs> to kind of do the same thing we did. And I still have yet to contact East Montpelier, but I will, to see if they're willing to put up a warned item. <coughs> remember we talked about the maintenance for next year? Um, 
and it, we could ask them to fill out the form for a social service agency thing, blah, blah, blah. And then you got to get a certain percentage of registered voters. I believe when we met with them, we talked about just putting in on the town meeting warning, like $1,200 or $1,500, um, so they don't have to go through that. They've already got enough on their plate to worry about. Does anybody else remember that differently? No. no. Okay. So what, because we're starting to work on a draft warning, what, I, for some reason I seem to remember like 1500 or? I think it was 1500 because they um, anticipate they spend about 3000 annually on mowing, and right. that's their expense. So, yep, so if we chipped in 1500 in the town of Hillier okay. did. That's what I was remembering, yep. too. Yep. Okay. So um, I'll put this in on our draft warning. Um, next Monday night, the 29th, we have coming. Um, so, so related to Poplar Hill. Yeah. There's a meeting tomorrow at the Army Corps at 10 a.m. Anybody interested? I'll, I'll be going. Uh, yeah, I, was, I had that down. Oh, I'm sorry. It's later uh, on. But thank you for okay. agreeing to go that because you understand more about that than I do. I mm -hmm. just think gravity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On me. Throw a rock out the window. Yeah. The so our next select board meeting we have coming um, Woodbury Fire Department, Stark Preservation Commission, um, hopefully the Cemetery Commission, and hopefully we'll have the first draft of an office budget. And yeah, we're trying to keep the warning and the um, budget stuff moving so we don't get in a we don't get in a tight spot. All right. Anything else? Are you ready for Act 46? Act 46 update. Who would like to be first? Todd? <laughs> I guess I'm on the control, so is Rick. <laughs> right. Uh, we have two committees <coughs> now going. One working on articles of agreement, as you may have read in the paper, it looks like we are going to be forced to merge. It's kind of a complicated thing we have to do in a very short amount of time, which is bizarre because any other combinations of dealing with school districts changing usually go through a couple of budget cycles before they have to be <coughs> you know, imposed, but we're going to have to be up and running with the budget and everything done and all our all our district uh, board members elected by July 2019. So would you have to have a special town well, meeting or something? Well, there will be a special meeting somewhere along the way. After town meeting? No, it, this will all happen, most, most of it will happen before town meeting. That's what really? I'm saying. This is really, what, I was just at the meeting where we were trying to figure out the timeline. Yeah. And okay. it's not so you have to have so many days that you can find Yes, you have to have right. things so many days after, but then you have to warn it so mm -hmm. many days ahead of time, and da 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 da, which we, this is going to get on paper soon. But mm -hmm. the point is that we, Probably, unless things change, and at some point, if this lawsuit that we're part of gets filed, that um, it, that could stop everything from happening by having some sort of an injunction or okay, just you know, yeah. yeah. So, so we, just we really, we really don't know, but we have to prepare because doing the articles of agreement and getting everything in line is really kind of complicated. I mean, you have to really think, get calendars and just sit there it and is. figure it out. And so, but you've got to do that because if you, if we go forward, we don't want to be left in a bad position. Now, will you get some administrative help with that from the superintendent's office? Well, yes, of course. I okay. kind of want to run it, you know, as usual. Well, I know that they said, you know, various <laughs> other things that they wouldn't help with. Yeah, but no, well, you know, the superintendent is a blessed meeting. Right. Yeah, no. and they're, they're very happy to help us merge. Very, very happy to do that. Now, was that a public meeting? Um, 
I don't. Well, I the, the newspaper was there. Okay. I just wondered should if any representative showed up. Should have been. Any well, party? we have a representative from each. Board. No, I mean elected representatives. Oh no. Um, it would have it would have been okay if they came, but it really it wasn't any. It was really a calendar conversation, oh, and okay. didn't even with the draft ones we have to go with. It was hard enough. I, I yeah. don't think they needed to be there. Um, so that's what we're. This, so that's the committee I was on, and Rick and Scott is on, are on the debt committee. I guess trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Yeah. Um, Basically, in that, it, and we just had the first meeting tonight, and it, I mean, Scott, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, it sounds. I mean, from what I've been able to figure out in there, the only way to really do this effectively is to really assess all the schools and you know, have a good capital assessment so you can actually calculate all the, the asset liability, the physical asset liability, mm -hmm. and then project that forward 17 years to balance that across the schools. But I, mean, I said that two, two years ago plus of the 706B, but we don't have that data. They don't have the assessments in place to actually do that so I think what they're talking about doing is you know just using averages and national averages which I don't think will work these are too small a scale and they don't account for you know the differences in, in maintenance on these schools Bill Kimball says that they're all in good shape but a few months ago Bill Kimball said the callus was in bad you know bad shape when it was convenient to him so I was you know I don't know I mean, there's no way to really tell compared with them without, yeah. all, without all the schools. I mean, they, I think when, when at the, Charlie Baker tonight, you know, kind of made the... Yeah, who's he? Will Baker. Oh, Will Baker. I'm sorry, not Charlie. Charlie's... I still don't know who he is. He's the chair of the... He's the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his name is. Sorry, <laughs> Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> different, different name. No, that, uh, they... I mean, there was a lot of discussion about what Act 46 would allow. I mean, I made the point, no, 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 no. If we're going to deal with develop equitable debt a solution, we should de develop an equitable debt solution or not come up with anything at all. Don't sit here and rubber stamp something that will work with Act 46, but then just basically be bullshit. So, Rick, Rick yeah. you know, all you're saying, telling us is premised upon all the school boards and I guess the overarching board, whatever, whatever to, all the towns agreeing to equilibrate the responsibility right. and make it equitable. Do you, do you sense that when it comes down to vote, that's what will happen? Well, I, it's not I would hope so. I mean, anyway, I would because, not. Because the representative um, from East Montpelier said he didn't see this as being a big deal. He didn't understand the pushback, and he, he thought it was kind of divisive. And I understand that perspective. Because he's from East Bucket. Well, 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 well. So, 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 so the reason I asked it, he said, I, I think we, he said we've worked well together thus far on all sorts of other school issues. We've never come to brinksmanship before. And he didn't see why that, that, that relationship would change going forward dealing with this. And so I, I, I was wondering if that then, you know, uh, feigned or was message, he was messaging us that um, they would be amenable to fair distribution of the debt and liability. What I got out of that meeting was that, well, the Act 46 won't allow us to do fair distribution of that debt. And are so... We, are, we are we talking about the bonded debt or are we talking about the schools? We're talking about the bonded debt, okay, because mm -hmm. you know, pulling that piece out, the the equity issue based on kind of the the, the, the respawn earlier in Berlin debt and the Middlesex. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be? I mean, Scott's got the numbers on that, but I mean, it. What is it? About a fifth, one point one five percent. I mean, point one five fifteen cents on the dollar. I on mean, the on the tax rate. rate. On the, the tax rate. rate. For difference between East Montpelier, we, we rise get, about seven and a half cents, just based on that. Well, debt. we get we take on two and a half million dollars worth of debt that we don't currently have, correct? Yeah, uh, essentially, yeah. And and there's there's that, those numbers that the the BO the board of the Vermont Board of Education representative Peter Peltz from Woodbury, I think relying on uh, Oliver Olson's calculations, wherever you arrive at them, I believe he said that 
callus would be assuming like a four percent uh, increase. Yeah, he was. In, he is, was that, is that an accurate number? It, it's all. <coughs> this is taken from agency of education um, analysis. Mm -hmm. okay. The um, the percentage thing is sort of a um, a way of of you know making it look less than it actually is. Yeah. Because what basically happens compared to where we are now, uh, Callis would be paying seven and a half cents more, Worcester seven point uh, nine cents more, and East Montpelier seven point four cents less. So the poorest so town is, is going to pay more. Poor yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's a, right. basically a fifteen cent gap, mm -hmm. um, and that gap will where. Um, no matter what happens with the budget, no matter what cost savings or revenue uh, increases or whatever else, or, or you know, cost rises, whatever else happens, Callis and Worcester will, for 14 more years, be paying roughly 15 cents more mm -hmm. on their tax rate than mm -hmm. East Montpelier than would have been the case without merger. And when this was did the, the State Board of Education, when you guys went to that last meeting, whatever, that they didn't think that that was an issue that was worthy they, of? They actually didn't even really understand it. <laughs> they, um, they, uh, they talked, the kinds of things they said, for example, oh, maybe cost savings will smooth out the inequities. Um, no, uh, the inequities are built in mm -hmm. um, from you know, the initial conditions. Cost savings wouldn't affect that, right? Well, yeah, cost and, savings and, just go and, up and down the, the same way. And That's the right. chair of that committee had the audacity to say, well, if you agreed to merge, you would have gotten the incentives, and that would have taken it away. Yeah. You know, I don't think any one of that right. school board ever took Algebra 1, never mind, passed. <laughs> right. I didn't do they very well in Algebra it. either. They no, don't we're get we're it. Against you to the same thing. <laughs> You can't change numbers. You just can't do right. it. Well, and this um, loss, loss, will this lawsuit include this issue? Yes. That, yeah. Yes. Because I think Washington County's Washington Supervisory Union is kind of this is kind of unique. But I wonder how many other other Brattleboro is another big one. I know okay. that. Um, I don't know. There, are, I'm sure there are others. Because this is a really yeah. big issue. I mean, I know everybody says, well, you're not thinking about the kids. All you're thinking about is well, that's, the money. that's such bullshit. I know it is. Yeah. Yeah. I know so how, how, that's it's what good they, for that's kids to have their parents' taxes go up by yeah, yeah, to a take differential of 15%. Right. It's good for children. Right. Yeah. But that's what they throw in our face every time yeah. we raise an issue. Well, I haven't heard you say one single word about the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you know they're bullshit. Whenever well, they what, what really bothered me was, I think it was yeah. Pelt, Pelt said, that U32 was a really good <laughs> school, had a great place, and you know, so uh, why, you know, they obviously work together for that, and so why can't that board, you know, work for the five towns? And I'm kind of saying, well, I'll say, you know, the reason U32 is good is because they've got good elementary schools. Right, and exactly. I know, why, yeah. fix, why try to fix what isn't broken? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And. Oh, and, yeah. and somehow this this construct, the old the old construct, they're trying to move us away from, is is appropriate for Burlington and Montpelier, when the legislature specifically exempted them from this process. Oh, yeah. Right. Somehow that's different. Those children are different. You know. Somehow. Yeah. Well, they don't. Going have, to old schools, school decrepit school schools. School doesn't represent the community the way ours do. I mean, it's just. Yeah. Well, just, the Chittenden legislature right. imposes oh, yeah. their will on rural Vermont like they do on everything. And I don't know if in the lawsuit it's going to bring up the fact that, and I think it was Irisburg, I was reading something Irisburg put out, and it sounded like the Callis Select Board put it out. Oh, the Select Board, yeah. their Select Board. Right. And to go to go somewhere to along the way somebody said, well, the Select Board shouldn't be getting involved yeah. in the school board and stuff. Which well, our, our state, our town representative to the legislature, John oh, yeah. Ansel, responded by email and said it was inappropriate. I, I, I'm misrepresenting. She didn't think that was the uh, 
Yeah, well, basically she said it was inappropriate. But she insinuated that she's supposed to be up to the school board, which insinuated to me that the school board was supporting merger. Right, well, and... The way yeah, she said so, it is that... Yeah, I'm not going to get into all the ugly details, but... Um, and then all, but she also represented that it was her approach... If she didn't support Act 46, she wouldn't have been able to come back two years later to amend Act 46. Yeah. Well, why would you support a law that's problematic? Uh, it made no sense, as if she was prognosticating, going forward, I'm going to amend this problem law that I'm supporting. But anyway, um, so anyways, I just want anyway. to make sure that, you know, and like I said, I read the Irisberg yeah. letter that they did, and it could have been us. Same, exact same thing. Uh, and Dad, I will say this. And some, of the, and some of the same other things. I was going through the, there's a, as I put out on um, Front Porch Forum, there's a GoFundMe fund to raise ten thousand dollars for the um, and the Alliance for Vermont School Board Members yeah. to run this lawsuit because they don't want to use any taxpayer money. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, at one point, almost a third of the of the people who gave were from Callis, and that you know seven out of twenty-two and going wow. up. But I only think one other. From the from the um, district. So, so I'm, right. I'm going to leave names out of it, but I, I called two of the board of education members and had long discussions with both. Uh -huh. And the second one I spoke with, who was more inclined toward us, uh -huh. I'll leave it at that, um, indicated that um, he thought that this pushback would result in reforms at the legislature. This isn't going to be forced on anybody. And he said he just, he thought it was really unfortunate in the end that this is going on. That's it. He goes, it's going to split communities apart. It's going to really destroy the fabric of Vermont. Um, he was holding out his position and how he voted and asked him for that, but um, he did not offer that either. But, but what bothers me is that the legislature doesn't meet until January. Right. It's and even late. if they have bills ready to go, we are still stuck having to do all this right. horrible work right. Right. in order to protect, protect right. ourselves. Unless when the lawsuit gets filed, they can get a hold yeah. on anything right. else moving forward until after Let's hope that Lots happens, because I, I personally think that the legislature is going to try to get beyond this vote and put this, push this behind them, hoping that it will uh -huh. just blow away. If, I mean, I suspect, I mean, we have, they have not been supportive up to now. There's no reason that they're going to do it. Uh -huh. and they're going to say, okay, let's hope this just blows over now, but it's a done deal. You know, so I think it's going to take a few years. Well, our representatives well. still defended it. I know. In the end. The one argument that they have, one of the arguments that they have is that, well, if we let people not merge now, the people who already merge will be mad at us and it won't be fair. And going like, well, they, they didn't they have money. to they do it. it. They they didn't didn't have nobody to do made it. them do it. They, they committed suicide. And the law allowed for the alternative right. governance structure to, if you believe yes, this. But, but some the of the people, so was, you just chose a different path. Some of the people that you hear from on that listserv thing, they might not have merged, but they were afraid. Yeah, of the consequences. So they did it because they didn't know that they could fight it. Well, well I think then the legislature should cor correct that too. If that's that right. They're they doing what Maine did. They make it voluntary, and then they start backing out. You have to have a mechanism to back out of it. You know? So um, I had initially thought that we were going to ask the town for a minimal donation, but based on further information, we're trying to do this without any school or town tax dollars at this point. Right, at this point. Yeah. Um, and I believe David Kelly said that there's probably some kind of a draft or a template that we can use. So what we need for the board to do tonight, if you um, if you want to go forward, is to vote to send a letter of support, and then we'll get some kind of a template back from David Kelly. We'll no, vote to support uh, joining in on the lawsuit. Right, but this, then... And then we can sign a letter down the road. If the, that's what I'm just trying to say. Well, you said vote to support for a letter of support, which means we're not going to do it until we get the letter. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Okay. All right. You're right. Um, it just needs to be in our minutes. So we want to take a vote. If there's no further questions or discussion, anybody? Anybody, anybody in the audience have anything further to say? 
So I would ask this, the Cali Select Board to vote in favor of supporting the lawsuit. I don't know what uh, you add to it, John. Uh, joining the statewide the, effort. The effort. Or whatever. You guys help us out here with and the become, becoming a well. party. Becoming a party. Plaintiff. Right. Yeah, plaintiff. To be a plaintiff. Sorry, to be a plaintiff in this. And does this go to the Supreme Court or is it going to the Superior, Superior Court? Court. Oh, Superior Court. Which one? I don't know. Um, Whichever one they should depend. They can pick any court, I think, in any county. Oh, they can? So they'll probably have to pick the one that's most friendly yeah, to us. Right. Don't go to Chittenden County. Right. <laughs> um, most sensible, I imagine, in Washington County. It'll, it'll that's where Washington. the agency of education is. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, all right, is that enough? Is that enough to get us what we want to do? Everybody? All right, I'll second so, the line. I started it, you finished I'll second. it. You want to read it back, Katie? Yeah. <clears throat> Denise Wheeler made a motion for the select board to vote in favor of becoming a plaintiff in the class action lawsuit in Superior Court. Do we have to say opposing what? force mergers? Opposing, okay. yes. There you go. Appo by the opposing Vermont force board of education. Force school mergers by the Vermont Board of Education. Mm -hmm. Does that get us where we want to be? Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. We're meeting every week now. Yes. Right. <laughs> Um, all right, you ready to vote? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Did everybody vote in favor? Yeah. Okay. Unanimous. So I just, just want to inform the select board, the way I read the deed, it's in the town's name, the school. So if we get forced and we lose this in court, the state's going to then compel us to sign away our school for free despite its value. I, I don't see how we can lose on that issue, but we'll see. who knows in this crazy day and age. <coughs> the judge. Uh, we'll cross the right. judge. So, but uh, I will say, uh, you know, I'm not signing that. And I don't know what would happen if they didn't have a majority. Somebody asked me today if we, go to jail. Uh, we voted down the, go to jail. Somebody right. asked me today if we voted down the school budget, you know, at town meeting. And I said, well, first of all, since the state is a spigot, for our money anyway, there's, you know, that's the spigot we get turned off. But it also would send a message that we don't want a school in our town. And that may not be a, right. a good message that's to right. send at this point. That may give us the opposite. Yeah. yeah. So it mm -hmm. might have, you know, be careful what you wish for. That's How about right. turning down the central budget? Yeah. Can you do that separately? No, we can can't vote separately? on that separately. That's what That'd I've been be complaining nice. about all my life. Well, you know, we should be able to vote on that separately. Well, I've been working by the state law. That's the way it's just so another, it's another school about. state oh, law that doesn't law? make any sense. Yeah, it's state law. So just so you know, the, when Katie gets the minutes done, um, David Kelly asked me to send him a copy of the minutes to show that we voted in support. And when they're ready to do letters, he'll send us a template. That reminds me, I've got to send him my minutes. So, and I invited all of the, just so you know, I invited all the school board members from Calus to come tonight, so I don't know. If you want to update them, we can send them the minutes when they're done. Just, yeah, just send them the minutes. Okay. Or you can just send it to them, the minutes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. This. Yeah, thanks yeah, for saying. You guys have been great. No, yeah. You guys have been great. I, I, I really feel so proud to be part of Calus. Yeah. I, I, me too. Really, everybody, <laughs> where are we going? Oh, Calus. Oh, Washington, Washington Central. You guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> and we hear that on every front of environmental protection and everything else. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah you've got a all nice yeah. little town. Good well, well, And Hard yeah, Hardwick, Hardwick Gazette reported that we're ahead of the mainstream because we now have it so people can see documents just by going to our website of meetings. They printed it in the Hardwick Gazette that Cabot was interested in what Callis was doing to include or to improve community engagement by doing what we're doing. So we need to so we're ahead of the we need to um, give you a, little, a bunch this of This chair stuff. deserves a lot of credit right here. She does. <laughs> 60 hour a week chair. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't I mean Aren't you glad you retired? Yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> 
but you guys go to these meetings that have to just make your head want to explode and <laughs> and you oh learn my kind goodness. of not listen. <laughs> so, the stabs me will spend hours on twaddle, but they'll push yeah. off anything of any kind. Right. Yeah. You know, it's like unbelievable. So that's, that's, the, that's what I wanted to ask Scott because I don't know what of your kids might be involved, but um, there was a letter to the editor the other night from the seniors at U32 complaint, or I guess they were seniors. Can, can, it was the student house, like they're complaining that the way they. Uh, don't get grades now the way it, oh, the they proficiency, get proficiency oh, I, yeah, I heard that too. And so what I was wondering is, had somebody got forethought enough to ask them to come to the meeting Wednesday night, which has to do with board monitoring, monitoring of student progress? I don't know. I, I, Did you know any of the kids who were involved in that? I wasn't even aware that that happened. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, well, I'll send it to you. and. That's how clued in I am. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask, that's what I was on my mind to ask you. Yeah. But that's, so, that's select what Scott was going to say. Yeah. Oh, no, I was just going to say, as you were talking about these, having to go to these meetings that make your head explode, by saying that at least we have each other. This is <laughs> Thank goodness, right? We do. I mean, I, my daughter-in-law has to go to meetings where the people from Putney are totally against them. And they're in the um, same group. I mean, it, it, they've had really bad times where, mm -hmm. where, where um, signs have been taken off lawns and various things mm -hmm. like that. And Not good. I, you know, we haven't had any signs and we didn't have any votes. But I was going to say, we haven't had any signs yet. So. Yeah, we haven't any, had to have any signs All right. yet. But, um, well, at the meetings at least at least they're subjected to me, so I get exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those folks are all here. There you go. And boy, we get Rick to go to every blessed meeting. <laughs> the one time you'll see a smile on Bill Kimball's face is if Rick is there. <laughs> <laughs> and you got that on tape. <laughs> so are we anticipating Leave it in as a result of this merger that we'll see an assistant uh, superintendent of schools because of more workloads. Of course. Be, of course. Two or three. We all already <laughs> have had I'm, had I'm had smelling that. I'm smelling a request for an increase in pay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm smelling a, an assistant superintendent. So I'm, 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 I'm seeing this as a cost increase. Well, I'm also seeing a bunch of teachers lose their jobs. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's just like healthcare. I said that when we met as a big group. It's just like healthcare. We're the more you consolidate, the, and higher education too. Yeah. The more money the federal government puts into higher education to subsidize tuition, what actually happens is the, is the administration sucks it up. Bloat. Right. And that's how or they, they build gymnasiums. Right. Yeah. All, that's all right. of those things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then they and then they they've achieved all these great successes, and they become more important in the the. And they get more money. Marketplace. Yep. 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 Well, higher education for sure. Higher ed and healthcare as well. Yep. Oh yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yep. Good point. There isn't any. No, nope, there isn't. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Really you guys. Competition among health Let us know what we can do. There is one. Thank you. We don't have that. Did you Every voice counts, and there we have a lot of them in Calus. Right. Even though I was told it's a minority of voices, they're just loud. That's uh, okay. Well, we've heard that before. Well, Rick. <laughs> well, yes. um, Denise, if it's any consolation, there's an old saying that one person who cares is a social power equal to 99 who cares. There you go. There you go. There you go. You know, we, we had, we had, a we had a, an issue here, and I, it's, sense, it's still sensitive to some people, and I'm, I'm apologizing. Remember the tapes on. But, um, and the yeah, tapes on. But we were told we were a vocal minority, and it was a two to one vote in support of the position of the select board. So um, I think we have a pretty good finger on the pulse. Yeah. Yeah. We, and we Hopefully. reach out, we call people. Yeah. Right. If we think we're off base, we come back and we fix it, you know, and turn to our position. So well, it's been helpful in this because there's been a huge amount of effort to keep this under the rug for the past three years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's true. To get this through before anybody really knows. Right. It. And that, that you guys are really well, you guys are brave. Thank you. You guys are really brave. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs> All righty. I just want to do a couple of Thanks, I want to do a couple of updates if we have a, just a couple of minutes. Um, Judy said that the absentee ballots and early voting 
is brisk. Mm -hmm. um, the 1115 tax deadline check, tax deadline, the checks are continuing to come in on a steady stream. And Olivia Gay has been working on the November 6th election day coverage of the polls. So does Judy ascribe the risk return of absentee ballots to the get out the vote effort? Does she think that there are more people engaged, or is it the same people that are just getting their stuff? I, she didn't really Turner. say. She didn't really say. I know we had for the primary, and it was a you know the primary it was just a small mm -hmm. primary. Had a, we had a really good turnout in Cal's. I think it was like three quarters of the voters. Wow. In the primary. I mean, Cal's rocks. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Um, then a couple other things, um, which one of them John already mentioned. There's this site visit by the Army Corps of Engineers tomorrow at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. at Poplar. If anybody wants to go. Um, we, the office staff, we've been working on, you know, the town report, stuff like that. Barbara Butler sent out um, requests for quotes mm -hmm. from different printers for the printing of the town report. <clears throat> and Jet Service, who is located in Berlin, came back with the best price. Oh. Um, they can do the graphic design $35 an hour as opposed to, what was it, 75 or something an hour at other places. We've looked at some of their work. Very well done. Very okay, well done. This is Jet Service of Vermont Company? Yes. Mm -hmm. In Berlin, Secret. Vermont. I don't want to support Walmart type companies. Mm -hmm. you no, know, oh, it's, um, just, it's Jet Service Envelope. Right, Jet Envelope. Oh, oh. It's yeah. Jet Blow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jet Blow. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we think, and we saved like a thousand dollars on the cost for printing, so we're pretty happy about that. And thank goodness we have Cliff. Um, he's been looking at phone systems to change over the town office phone system. What did you come up with? Um, we're looking order. at a multi line system, and we should be able to come in uh, for less than $700 for the system including installation, we may have to activate additional lines, but we already have the lines coming into the building. John McCullough confirmed that. Mm -hmm. So we just have to turn them on. And we also, the system will also let the town office staff transfer calls to the town garage, correct? Mm -hmm. So now if somebody calls here and it, it's a oh, garage great. question, they can say, oh, just a minute, let me put you through to the Shoot. town garage. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And they're going to have, have a busy a night service night, or, right. you know, no one's available right now type uh, element built into the system that uh, they could also access it remotely if the town, hall, the town office is closed. And, right. And, but they know there's calls coming in. They can monitor those remotely. They can also have the uh, follow me option where calls can get forwarded automatically by the system. Yeah, because they'll also be able to get forwarded to the town hall when it's renovated. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to check messages from home if they open their home. Um, and it will offer compatibility with headsets so that people can engage in more intense conversations even though they're in a busy right. office with other people. Right, and the listers, will have, the listers will have their own um, voicemail extension. Voicemail, exactly. So the town, the, the, that's mine. the staff are really, really excited about this because it's been a little crazy with the phones. When you're here, <coughs> they're running around with the, the portable phones in their hands, and then they put it on the table, forget to take it back in the office. The phone rings, they have to run back up to the table. So it's a little crazy. So this is going to be really good. They're really excited, and it's not that big of an expense to make their lives easier. Great. Yeah. And so are, is it already in the works? It's going to happen? It's supposed to be I'm installation. We'll be able to get this up and running by the end of the month. Oh, wow. Yeah. But there is a scheduling conflict because uh, <coughs> the tech people are coming in and doing some stuff, <coughs> some testing with regards to the numeric modules and whatnot. So mm -hmm. we may have to wait until the first week in November. But yeah. It's at hand. Awesome. That'll be a life changer. Yeah, it will be. I mean, a small thing like that for that price, it's well worth it. Yeah. What is the price? Then? About seven or eight. I'm thinking I can do it for 
for less than 700 uh, feet. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. what one is done, then it's right. Okay. Right. Yeah, the only other potential expenses, like I say, if we decide to turn on some of these other lines, but these multi-line systems that we're looking at actually do uh, dividing, so you can take a single line coming in and divide it, and it uh -huh. mimics having four separate lines. Wow. But there's a trade-off there. There's limitations in some of the other features. So if we decide down the road we really need this other feature, we could still turn on the other lines. Mm -hmm. and yeah, Cliff's done an extensive amount of research. He's put a lot of time and effort into it. So yeah. we all have a huge thanks. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Help out. you're welcome. We're happy to help out. Um, Callous rocks. Yes, there you go. <laughs> We're glad you're here. We man. need to get t-shirts <laughs> made. Tell us you locked out. We just dropped it right down. We locked out so man. big. It, it, it could bad. serve so many purposes. A t-shirt that says "Callus Rocks." Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> I'd like the board to <laughs> go into executive session um, per one BSA three one three A two for negotiating or securing a real estate purchase or lease option discussion. And I'd like to invite Scott Bassage and Greg Pelchuk to join us. I'll get this move up again. Yeah, yeah. Get up there. Did you make the motion? Yes. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.